Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to draw the uh, H3O plus hydronium ion Lewis dot structure. So here we go. We've got H3O plus, this is the chemical formula for hydronium, the hydro hydronium ion. And we have three hydrogens each with one valence electron plus uh, one oxygen which gives us six and then minus one because of the positive charge. So this is going to give us a total of eight valence electrons. All right. And uh, since there's only eight here, doing my trick where you subtract the eight isn't really going to help you out. So we can just go ahead and look at the uh, atoms that are in this compound and just go from there to, to start the drawing. Um, we know that hydrogen cannot be a central atom because it can only bond once. So in this case, the oxygen has to be the central atom. So we can go ahead and put the oxygen here. And there's three hydrogens, so H, H, H. All right. And hydrogens can only have two electrons total. So that means that they can only have one single bond. So if we single bond everything, that's, that's two, four, six electrons. So eight minus six gives you two electrons remaining. And those, if you notice, oxygen only has six electrons. And typically it's going to need its full octet or eight electrons. And, and we have two left over. So we can go ahead and put this last two, two electrons right here on, on the oxygen to give it the full eight, the full octet, eight electrons. And each hydrogen also has their full two electrons. So this should be the right structure. But then don't forget to add in the uh, square braces because it's an ion charged, charged uh, compound and put the charge up there, so plus, okay? So that's gonna be the structure, but let's, let's go ahead and check the uh, formal charges on it. So formal charge, let's go ahead and go with the uh, oxygen first. And uh, formal charge of oxygen is the valence brought in, which is six, minus the uh, number of bonds, one, two, three, so minus three, and then minus the number of non-bonding electrons, one, two. This little line represents two electrons, remember? Minus 2, so 6 minus 3 minus 2 is going to give us plus 1. And then the uh, formal charge on the hydrogen, and notice each hydrogen has the same setup, so this formal charge will be, will be the same for each of them. Uh, it's going to be one valence brought in minus uh, one bond for each hydrogen minus zero non-bonding electrons gives us a formal charge of zero. So if we sum these up, the overall formal charge is going to be uh, equal to plus one, which matches the charge on the ion itself, which is what you're supposed to have happen when you're drawing the Lewis structures for charged particles, ions. Okay, so we can go ahead and look at the shape now. Um, it's going to head, it's, going to, it's going to be A, X, now there's one, two, three atoms attached, so A, X, three, because A represents one central atom, the oxygen, and X represents the, the attached or, or the peripheral um, atoms, three hydrogens, and there's going to be E for electron pairs, and there's one lone electron pairs right here. So it's going to be AX3 E1. Okay, so that's going to be the shape uh, code there, and this shape is going to be called the trigonal uh, pyramidal. Alright, so that's going to be the, th the three dimensional shape of this um, ion, and uh, we can then with this shape, the uh, bond angles are approximately equal to 107 degrees. It's just something that you need to know for, for this shape. This is the approximate bond angle. Okay. And uh, looking at the oxygen, there's one, two, three, four bonding sites. So that means that the oxygen will be um, sp3 hybridized because there's one, two, three, four bonding sites, so S, P, 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 three P's, one S, four orbitals, S, P, three hybrid, okay? And uh, because of, of this lone electron pair over here, it's going to make this ion a polar compound because nothing can balance out for the electric charge of the lone pair right here. All right, that's pretty much it. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments. If you have any special requests, send me a message. I'll, tr I'll try to put it in a video for you. And uh, thanks for watching.